Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of This Needs to Be Said with Mr. T and TBS. That is me. I'm your host, CJ Jones, and this is Elephant Exposed. Um, today, I have something that I think that would be of great interest um, to everyone um, that is that watches our show. Um, everyone knows that Elephant Exposed, the basis behind this show is to not only look at injustices and so forth coming from law enforcement, but to actually uh, take a deeper dive into these situations and break them down. And whether you are right, if you're right, you're right. And if you're wrong, you're wrong. And we are going to expose it no matter what um, the situation is. Um, and not all cases are as clean cut as they sound and so forth. And so that and so this particular um um clip that is um that was publicized on X, formerly known as Twitter, um, is being shared by one of our longtime viewers and subscribers and a uh content provider for me. I want to say uh thank you to Mr. Jim for uh providing um me this uh clip so we can uh, just take a deeper dive into it. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get right into it. Meet Calvin Riley. He's being stopped by the Tallahassee Police Department on South Monroe. Hello, sir. I'm Officer Oliver Tallahassee Police Department. Do you She'll plant evidence of an empty liquor bottle in Riley's car before arresting him for an alleged DUI. Riley's license is suspended and officers decide to arrest Riley on a first offense for his suspended Would license. Would you be willing to do some voluntary field sobriety exercises? Okay, here, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for us. They didn't tell him the consequences of refusing that voluntary test. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and face the corner of the car for us. Your license is After suspended. detaining Riley, they ask him if he smoked any marijuana. Mr. Riley, I got a quick no, question no, for you. No problem. Um, so I smelled marijuana in your vehicle. Did no, you recently no, no, smell? No, 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 no. Once he's arrested for driving with a suspended license, they can search his car. Officer Oliver leaves the car, does a 360, and then goes back in the car, retrieving a sealed liquor bottle and pours it out. That was the sound of the seal on the liquor bottle breaking. Wow. Here's oh, another angle. While Officer Muth questions Riley about marijuana again, Did somebody else is smoking your car early. Oliver tosses the empty bottle into the passenger seat. They don't find any marijuana in the car. Here's Officer Oliver implying to Officer Muth that the empty bottle was likely what was in a cup in Riley's center console. Cover where like the knee would sit. There's an opening, and he had it like uh, tucked. Okay. And then the the whatever he had in his cup also. Stuck. Oh my God. Then Officer Muth tells a senior officer that they found open alcohol in the car, That's in both a bottle and a cup. Yeah. Okay. Got nothing in there? No. Well, okay, so he had a bunch of alcohol stash in there, but nothing open or anything. He had a yeah. bunch of alcohol. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in his, like, Tervis in the center console, he had a mix to drink, and then under his knee, he had um, a, like, little bottle of vodka tucked away. When officers group to discuss the case, they all ask each other if their body cameras are off. Any evidence of that? Marijuana? Yeah. Are you still on? Mm -hmm. The video ends at this point. Riley's arrest report states, quote, a search of Riley's vehicle yielded a small bottle of vodka that was opened in a pocket in the driver's seat cover. Riley's case begins on Friday, April 5th, in the Leon County Courthouse in Tallahassee. Meet Cal Wow. Okay. So, I am, I am blown away at this. Okay, so let's just break it down. And in just a moment, but right now I just kind of got yeah, kind of get over the shock of this because this is crazy. So, um, 
now that I've kind of got my thoughts together, first of all, um, according to the laws in Florida, um, and all these laws are basically the same, like no, almost no matter what state you go into, especially when you're talking about uh, potential DUIs um, and so forth and everything, there is a police officer discretion, um, whether you either cite the person, impound the car, or take them in, whatever. Um, it it depends on the judgment of of that of said police officer. Um, now that's something that we have in common across the board, um, as as law enforcement officers and so forth. Um, but this particular officer here, oh my goodness. Um, took it to a whole nother level. Um, and the the amazing part to me is I don't understand the, the mental lack of wherewithal that this officer had. Not really understanding or not remembering how technology works when it comes to body cams whether you physically turn that camera on or off or not um it can be controlled remotely and that's how these officers are starting to get caught a lot of times but anyway um so in case if you did not catch the 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 audio of the narrator basically he was saying that this a uh, 56 year old gentleman, a uh, black gentleman by the name of Calvin Riley uh, Sr. was pulled over on a routine traffic stop last May and um, <clears throat> and found that he, he had been driving on a suspended license. OK, that's the premise. That's your PC. That's your probable cause. And decide and officers are able to decide whether either to ticket you or to arrest him, okay? So she had a choice right then and there. Um, even when she began to, uh, to what we call interview uh, said driver, she was not forthcoming of everything that he needed to know in order to make a more proper or thought out decision. When, as a police officer, there should be full disclosure as to what your reason is for pulling them over, if and whatever the reason you need for them to step out of the car and so forth, everything needs to be um, expressed and put out there. That way you as the officer are covered. But clearly this officer was not trying to do this. And this officer goes, um, this officer, her name is, is um, Kirsten Oliver. So she speaks uh, to our, um, to uh, Mr. Riley. And um, and then of course she she's calling for backup and everything. And she's expressing um, some belief that she feels like she smells uh, marijuana. All right. So, of course, you know what type of reaction you get. You got a black man driving on a suspended license. Smells like marijuana. Sounds like a good hookup to me, especially down in Tallahassee. But then as our narrator began to break down the video, she she does a 360. She does she after she uh, gets uh, Mr. Oliver um, out of the car. Starts going through the car, comes across a sealed bottle of alcohol, opens it up. You can hear it crack open again and pours it out. Then she sets him up. So about time her backup gets there and then the backup calls the senior officer. Now the whole entire narration changes. Her wording changes. And then come to find out that even throughout the search, throughout the car, 
there was no marijuana. But see, the only thing that she has to do is just say it. And then the small uh, sealed bottle of, of liquor just so happens to be open about time the uh, the backup officer get there, the, the senior officer gets there and everything. Now they have probable cause for the arrest. These are what we call stack charges or compounding charges. Okay? So then the senior officer gets there. He gets them all together. And they have a little meeting. And the first thing, and this is how you know you, you're dealing with shady, crooked police officers. Is everybody camera off? Why would you ask that if you were on the up and up? Why would you do that? So then Kirsten or Kristen or whatever her name is, the first officer says, there's a bunch of alcohol stashed in the car uh, where the open container was, where the small bottle of uh, alcohol was. So then he gets arrested. So then now his life is uh, disrupted because now Mr. Riley is arrested on the probable cause of what? Driving under the influence. And now he has to stand trial and so forth and everything like that. But see, real life situations like this cause real problems. So his life gets interrupted. He don't get to work and so forth and everything it's a it's a whole complete disruption of this man's life and he has to go to court and he has to prove all these things time a waste of the justice system of uh, time and everything all because of these no good for nothing heavy badge wanna be recognizable cops and these are the type of police officers that need to be weeded out of our justice system. That's all I have for right now. Tell me, guys, what you think. I think this is very clear cut. There is no wondering about it. These officers do not deserve to wear the badge nor the uniform or represent anybody in their area when it comes to law enforcement. And they need to be dealt with uh, to in the in the quickest way possible. Now we already know what internal affairs are going to do. Internal affairs, that's just like keeping within yourself. We have got to do something to change that system. It is very few internal affairs systems that are truly um uh, that are very rarely truly fair. And when it comes to dealing with their own. And there need to be some sort of third party, non-biased uh, agency out there, some sort of uh, system to where when we have officers that are like this, they need to be dealt with and held accountable to the highest extent of the law. At minimum, suspension of your uh, career, period, in law enforcement. Not ever coming back. Not at that agency or at any other ag agency. Your credibility should be totally and completely destroyed. Just like they are so quick to destroy anybody else's reputation and anybody else's credibility. And um, any other thing civilly that comes along with it. And that's just my humble opinion. But anyway, you guys tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. And don't forget that notification bell for up and coming content. With all of that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching. And um, we'll catch you on the other side. Thanks a lot.